so today on Blake's Garage, what we're gonna do is go ahead and install intercooler sprayers. So I'm making up basically these um, just from a few parts from the hardware store. We're using some Mr. Nozzles. Um, we're also gonna use a little bit of the Mr. Hose, a couple of uh, T's from that, and then a couple of uh, valves that are basically gonna turn on and off to divert the flow. Um, also what I purchased was a switch, a tap fuse, um, a fuse tap basically to go into the uh, into the fuse block um, to disconnect the windshield wipers when you don't want those be sprayed because um, we're going to use the uh, factory windshield sprayer which is on the um, you know on the windshield wiper part next to the steering wheel so when you press that down it'll hit the intercooler sprayers so hopefully you guys like this it should cost only about I don't know it's probably 15 to 20 dollars overall maybe a little bit more than that I don't know, I didn't really add it all up, but I, th I think it's right around that price range. So it's a really cheap modification. But as you guys know, some of the, uh, the older WRXs and STIs, or mostly the STIs actually, I don't know if it was a WRX thing or not, but I know the STIs, like, a, like an 07, like Kevin's Hawkeye, basically that one has an intercooler sprayer button, which is essentially the same thing we're doing here, but his, you know, is factory from Subaru. So we're gonna go ahead and make this up. So stay with me guys and, uh, check it out all right guys so once you pop open the hood you'll kind of see up here where the misters uh come up and then it splits what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna cut into the hose right here it's making a little point where i can uh where i can tap in so i'm just using a sharp knife for this um once i do that i'm gonna put this uh it's basically like a valve on here it should stop the flow so i'll put that in between and this, I sh like I said, I should be able to regulate this. And we're going to put this back on the other side. So that can, should continue basically the flow there. And then we're going to put in a T. So we'll cut that in as well. So now we got the T in there. Also, wise. cut that piece of hose. Put that back on there. So basically we've made this to where this is going to stop the flow here and it's going to continue to flow in this direction. Now I got this sprayer right here. I took out this little tab right here on the, uh, it's like a little inter intercooler mount. It just kind of mounts this little plastic piece on the back or helps um, keep it on there. So what I'm thinking I might do is just kind of open up this hole right here a little bit and basically just stick these sprayers in here and just do two sprayers right here. There's also spots up here that you could possibly use, but that's a little bit more of the, uh, the hardware mount there. Um, you could also possibly do it in the front. So first I'm gonna try this, see how I like it, see what the spray looks like. And I mean, it should be a pretty simple setup. So I just opened up this hole a little bit, just kind of with a bigger screwdriver. I just kind of put it in there and uh, just use it on the back side of the plastic just to open it up a little bit, just kind of using like a drill bit. And as you can see, it fits in there very well. Um, I mean, it looks pretty damn good. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do uh, two in here just to see if I get like a little bit better coverage. Um, you know, just cause the windshield wipers are two and it should spray a little bit better. But you could always, you know, if you wanted to, you could always drill a hole and basically put it anywhere on here you want. Um, so I'm gonna try this out and see how it works. All right guys, so yeah, what you can do here is you just basically take your screwdriver and you put it in these little plastic tabs um, and just kind of pry on it a bit till they pop out. Um, that'll let this piece pop out. So one more time, I'm just basically taking the screwdriver, putting it in here and just kind of twisting just a couple times. What that's doing is just boring out that plastic a little bit. That's pretty much all you need. It's just that right there. So I'm gonna get my other spray nozzle and just make sure that it fits. Shove it in here. All right, I might have to open it up just a tad more. Take that, twist it in there, pops right in. So now we can see we got these two sprayers. So we're gonna go ahead and plumb up the back side of this real quick. Now I'm hoping that right behind there, I can just basically put them in there like this and then run the hose coming back out uh, going to that other valve. And then also in line of this, I'm gonna put this little shutoff valve right here. 
Um, that way I can disconnect these intercooler misters if I want to. So like during the winter time, there's really no point in running these because you're gonna get the effect just from the rain or anything like that. And it's gonna be pretty cool out. I mean, if you want to spray them, sure, go ahead. All right, guys, so sorry for the weird camera angle. Might be a little bit sideways, but that was about all I could get. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just plumb these in. So hopefully you can see I'm on the back side of these right now. Um, gonna come off there. I purchased some little like, I call them battleships, right? They're your little tabs for your zip ties. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of put those up underneath here so that there's a good spot to zip tie to. You can already see the factory mount. Kind of clean this up a bit and uh, put these under here and we'll get a good area to zip tie this down to. Probably gonna have to go up here because this looks like it, this part of the uh, molding actually molds kind of to this area right up in here. So I'm probably gonna have to rotate that um, so that this works out correctly. But kind of see how it goes. So yeah, I'm pretty much just gonna zip tie that on there. And then we're gonna put that little regulator right here. We'll have this little piece going on here. This is just gonna be zip tied right here. And we are just going to put that through. So hopefully this doesn't look too ghetto. I don't know. It's kind of a little hokey, but I think it'll do the trick. I'm kind of OCD about this stuff, but I always like to try to uh, run the zip ties at least all the same direction um, as far as like when you're cutting them off and that sort of thing. So I think I'll put the factory O's in here too, just so it looks a little bit more like it's supposed to be there. So it doesn't look so oddball. But just tighten them up, not too tight. And then we're gonna bring this one right up here. Okay. So we can take each one of those, just clip them off with your uh, little dikes real quick. We're just gonna cut it right up to here. So whatever looks the best. So I don't know, it doesn't look too bad. Um, you know, you can turn this down or whatever you wanna do. But right now I have the regular wipers off and then I got this diverted. So I think the arrow will go with the flow. So I'll make sure that it, the arrow is on. And so basically this one is cut off, arrows turned sideways which is my normal wipers. Now it's diverting back, going back over here. Hopefully you guys can see that on the back side, and then it should be spraying out right here. So let's open up the door again, uh, do a little quick test. All right, so as you guys can see, it sprays a pretty good fine little mist out of there. 